Kirlin with Hollywood First Look, and today I'm chatting with Misha Oshevich, who stars in Peacock's The Girl in the Woods. Let's take a first look. Brings the total missing in West Pine to five, all within 36 hours. Who are you? You must never tell a soul. Deep in the woods stands a lone door. My colony and all of our practices exist entirely to protect the world from the awful things beyond that door. They worry that the wrong person could learn about this door and let all those awful things go free. Carrie, what's behind the door? Nightmares. Your worst nightmares. Talk to us about how Nolan comes into play with Carrie's story. Sure. So Carrie is our central badass girl from a cult in the middle of the woods that guards this door to a monster dimension, as one does. Um, and she um, she ends up in this small mining town where my character Nolan and my best friend Tasha live. And me and Tasha are definitely outsiders. Uh, Nolan, when it comes to struggling with you know some gender identity and you know just being feeling like they're not really part of the town's you know circle and um, having this one friend Tasha. And then we welcome Carrie into our kind of trio and we Scooby Gang it up and it's amazing. The monsters are real. They're real scary in this series, and they take on so many different shapes. Is there one in particular that you can talk about that the one that would be your worst nightmare? Um, let me put it this way. Um, we get really entangled with these monsters, um, no one in particular. And there reaches a point where there's definitely some scenes with no one and a monster that get pretty scary, also pretty intimate. And that monster is a reflection of a lot of Nolan's worst fears. So um, being a queer person and playing Nolan and getting quite close to this character, they are my worst fears as well. And I think that we use monsters really effectively to kind of talk about some really deeper inner demons with Nolan. Yeah, I would love to just, you know, touch on that because you, there's an episode where you, have this really intense scene and it's obvious that Nolan is dealing with gender identity. You know, talk to me about prepping for that. Yeah, so look, that scene and the build up to that scene is um, something that I am sure and I know a lot of young queer teens deal with and especially when it comes to things along the lines of gender identity. Um, I was really supported by our, you know, incredible queer writer, um, Casey, and um, our director, the director of that episode with Jacob. And um, we together built how we felt this scene would play out for somebody dealing with mental health um, issues. Um, there's drug addiction involved and there's gender identity, obviously. We wanted to, it to feel both, yes, entertaining because it's a TV show, but also messy, messy and organic. And what would a real queer teen do in their room when they're struggling with the body and the life that they were born into? Um, so I felt like I had a hand in creating that scene and that meant a lot to me. Oh, and it was, it was fantastic. I, I I felt it. So I just want to tell you that it was great. I know that you're no stranger to horror having starred in Freaky. Talk to me about the difference in experience was like for you, you know, working from a you know big budget horror film to a big budget horror series. I like to see it as as kind of like a graduation almost. Um Freaky was such a fun kind of raucous time and Chris Landon's style is so particular and there's so much comedy baked in and there's comedy in our series too but there's so there's so much kind of grit to this series and like I say I keep saying it because I mean it it's messy in the right way and I was given an even bigger task now you have to be funny you have to deal with the horror elements and also you have to carry the weight of a pretty significant storyline that has to, a lot to do with the struggle and the pain that comes with gender identity so I, I do see it as a graduation and I hope that my career continues to allow me opportunities that not only, you know, sure they're big and shiny, but they challenge me. You know, I have a 12 year old and there there are certain things that I will and will not let her watch, but she kind of caught me, you know, <laughs> in the middle of watching this and she was glued. I was like, I don't know how, how much of this you actually wanted to watch, but she was like, oh, keep going, keep going. <laughs> so uh, you have two definite fans in my household. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much.
Girl in the Woods is currently streaming on Peacock. My name is Carolyn, and I'll see you next time. I'm here to help you. Ready to hunt a monster? This is so metal. I'm going to end this thing. <laughs>